The new dungeon linear fusion is a three round burst and is now probably the top legendary heavy in the game in terms of DPS. This thing is phenomenal. So we're going to go ahead and talk about this new storm chaser. I was fortunate enough to have my very first one drop as a god roll with auto loading holster and firing line. But I'm going to break this down, even show you some comparisons to this compared to a god roll reads. And even the cataclysmic, I think, fails to keep up with the DPS of this weapon. So we're going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of it, because even though it does out DPS those in certain circumstances, it is not actually better than them in some scenarios. So I want to break this down. I'll show you the god roll here in a second. But I want to get into why I think this gun is really, really nice. This is an absolute delight for boss weapon damage. So the catch is it's a three round burst, which means it goes pop, pop, pop. And with the flinch of every one of those projectiles, it's going to kick up a little bit, which means hitting the precision shot is not necessarily easy to do unless the target is stationary. If it's sitting still or is a huge crit spot, okay, this thing is going to absolutely destroy at top DPS in the category. No contest, no arguments there. But on moving targets, if you're playing containment or rolks running around or something like that, and you need to chain together and hit all three of those projectiles to get max DPS, that is unrealistic. That is not going to be easy to do without, of course, pairing it with something like Divinity. Divinity and this weapon are going to go hand in hand for the meta right now. These are going to be the DPS combinations you are looking for because of that recoil between each one of the individual projectiles. That three round burst, you want all three of those to hit to really get top DPS. And without Divinity, it's not really going to be there. So here's a little clip of the Storm Chaser. As you can see, I'm comparing it to a nearly identical role with the Reed's Regret. And this thing is hitting for nearly 25k per projectile to the head. So with three of them total, we're looking at nearly 75,000 damage for one trigger pull from the Storm Chaser compared to about 50,000 from the Reed's Regret. That's a huge spread. That's 50% damage. Now, it's not going to be as impactful as you think, and I want to explain why the Divinity is so crucial. Because at the end of the day, if you only hit one of those three shots to the head, you are doing less damage than a Reed's or a Cataclysmic. That's not very good, right? So in certain circumstances, you're better off making sure that first and singular shot count with one of the other linear fusions. If you hit two of the three to the head, you are doing about the same damage that a God Roll Reads and God Roll Cataclysmic would be doing. So then you're breaking about even. You have to hit all three of them if you want to hit a lot harder than the other competition out there. So it does definitely way heavy that you need to have something like divinity or it needs to be a boss that sits still so you do not miss any of the precision shots at all so that is my advice that is some gameplay of what this thing can do it's going to be essential for so much of the meta so many people that do dps phases this thing is going to be the new king for many circumstances especially higher activities with like six man activities like the raid or containment put on a divinity have a bunch of people using this thing and you are going to rip numbers that you haven't seen from a linear before so thanks again for all the love, everybody. Good luck out there, and I'll catch you with another one soon.